I did by the time I, re I retired was about 80k. And uh, Steve, wow. Steve Waugh, who's one of our great cricketing captains of Australia, asked me to do his charity ride. Um, and it was 700 and something kilometres in six days. And I was petrified. And he couldn't understand why I was so petrified. Yeah. And the first day was 150k. I had never ridden that far in my life. And, no. oh, I slept well that night. E-bike. <laughs> <laughs> Take your e-bike. <laughs> Hadn't come across e-bikes at that stage. <laughs> oh, damn it. So just so, so three-hour gym session. Obviously, that's three hours in the gym. Um, so obviously, a lot of that is spent resting. Um, yes. So that, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's so a road ride then. So you went out for like a two-hour road ride. Spent two hours in the car. Four-hour four 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 road ride. Uh, well, Shabby time. It, it's call kit it. time, isn't it? Yes, it's kit time. So. Kit time. Um, yeah, you're, you're very right. Um, in a four-hour track session, I might get between four and six efforts out, you know, and, and that's sure. what I mean about quality. You spend, you know, 20, 30 minutes on your warm-up, um, then you have a rest, and you want to do a maximal effort when it comes time to that effort, but you're, the training allows you to hurt yourself physically so quickly that you need between 20 and 30 minutes to recover to repeat that. There's no point... Um, repeating efforts if you can't maintain a certain standard or improve as the session goes on. Um, so I like to try and explain to people that your endurance athletes try to push out that lactic buffer. They don't, you know, they train to ensure that they don't feel that lactic acid um, too quickly in their efforts. Uh, whereas track sprinters really engage that system quickly. We want to feel the lactic acid burn and that becomes an additional fuel source for us, which is why You'll see the guys on the track do a one kilometre time trial or, or the women doing 500 metres and literally can't walk when they get off the bike. They're, the muscles yep. have swelled an inch in the legs because the lactic acid has just be, is just pumping through the muscles. Which is why yep. I'm really excited because this Olympic virtual series and the workouts that I've chosen um, are replicating the, the team sprint. Um, so people are going to get an idea of the pain that such a short effort can cause and the requirement of such a big rest. Um, and you'll also find that that will have an impact on the days following as well. I think you may just put some uh, put some riders off to find your session. No, on. it's really it's fun. Scared them. It's real, uh, honestly, <laughs> it's, see, it scares me to think that I've got to sit on the bike for three or four hours sometimes. So I'd rather just like do yep. a mad hit out for 10, 20 yep. seconds and be done. You know, it's, that's the thing that impresses me about sprinters is it's just that ability to go that deep. Mm. Like endurance athletes can't exert themselves over 10, 15 seconds to, to make themselves physically sick. They can't, physically can't do it. They haven't got the, the fibres to do it. Whereas a track sprinter, yeah, the way you can just turn it on, give literally 100%. Impressive, very impressive. It reminds me, I used to go to um, Manchester Velodrome to watch my wife um, train when she was on the on, on the GB squad, and they, they, those sessions would be so boring to sit in the sand and watch because there'd be hardly anything going on. Yeah. They'd all sit sit down in the middle, chatting. They finally get up. Here we go, coming up for a big effort, and they do like half a lap effort or something. It's like oh, oh they're sat back down now. Yeah, it's um, we often have a lot 